morning. Well, there's what was in the mystery Makita box. A Makita 5620D. Eight nine nine zero A ninety eight point ten on your FM dial. Doesn't look like it's had a lot of usage, but they failed to give us the battery, the charger, or the drill. I'm assuming it came with a drill. Anyway, I'll throw that on there for like five bucks. Here's a brand new pack of top flights. A bunch of random balls. I'm not into handling strangers' balls, though. Look at these. You got some little bitty balls on a string. <laughs> um, some of these... I don't know. Those two things. I think those are twin size fold them up bed frames. This dude. It could probably use a little clean. It's got a stainless top on it. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to post those two. I'm going to post the two chandeliers, this thing, the two bed frames. These I might just set aside till we get some flower pots or something else. There was some lady messaging on those. I don't know if I haven't checked them in a while, so I, I don't know if I've heard back yet or not. We got this still. It's got good compression. We got some 3 to 15 minute emergency road flares with stand. An electric snow thrower, some door trim. Um, what I thought was cat wire, one roll wound up being coax. But this roll was direct burial cable i don't know it's copper just red and black so that'll go for number two and that's i don't know some pound poundage the grill the grates wound up being they're stainless but they got that there's a steel inside that grate stainless the rest of it the majority of it's stainless i think the sides are cast Those are going to be cast. The rest will be stainless. The canopy was okay. The two bicycles. One's a Schwinny Schwinn Schwinn. I like this one. Some Genesis BMXy chromoly sort of thing. But the crank on it looks like it ain't worth 13 cents. Made in China. I don't know. It looks nice and shiny, don't it? That anodized looking color. Oh well, that and there's a few scrappy things like some trampolines and a, a sink. Sizzink. So that was Tuesday. Now we got to get dressed for school. Are you guys dressed? Better hurry up. You don't want to be late. Let's go sail a Schwinn. Oh, we're gonna crash. I'm sailing it as needing a new back inner tube because the back tire's flat and we've been riding around on it, so. It needs a new back inner tube. It's $15. I'm also getting $15 for that steel trimmer. I'm getting $40 for that thing. It's Mr. Scrappity's blowout sale. Look, man, I ain't trying to rape people. I'm just trying to get my gate to close. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, it's garbage, dude. We just found it in somebody's trash. So, I'll take what I can get. And, uh, that's how we do it. Not quite 11.30.
and that grill we dragged home yesterday. Most of it fits in that little red bucket there. There's the casty pieces. Pieces. A lot of S's in that one. Uh, there's the top, uh, the bottom, and half of the side, and the doors have still got to rip apart. There's that hood range lid thing, whatever, top, fan, vent, and a drop-in stove, toppy thing, pedestal pump. I want to rip that apart. They got some brassy trinket bits on there, some brassy boys. Um, the lady that bought the Schwinn, I'm assuming it's a lady, I'm not sure. I'm not one to judge, is uh, fairly interested in this one. Apparently they're coming back after it. Do you think that, yeah, I was gonna say, has that thing just like not been put together at all? Or I swear it's a fairly new bike. Look at the tires. They got the like titty things on them still. Um, I don't know. It's got a made in China sticker. It can't be too nice. It's an awful pretty color though. I like that blue, man flashy looking brand new looking handle grips don't look like they've ever been thrown around a whole lot you know other than what we've been doing to it anyway somebody's supposed to be on their way back to get this one same person they didn't ask about it until they had already came and acquired the other one and at that point i was away from the house so but now i'm back this thing should be going this afternoon Are we gonna fit? Oh, 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 there yeah, we fit. Like a glove. So yeah, if we can get rid of that, that bike. Pretty much cleaned it out. Not really, we got a couple of things left. Hold on, gotta get the gate again. There we go. And I don't know if we'll be able to move the little saw because it's just not a whole lot there. Some lady asked if she could pick those bed things up on Saturday. I said, sure. So, although that's a long ways away, ain't it? There goes that blue bicycle. Porch pickup style. We caught one. Oh, it got away. We're into catch and release. Excuse me, who are you, sir? Look, I don't even know who this guy is. I just found his videos today, but that is the craziest sideboard implement that's just that's that's impalement waiting to happen. I that's that's scary. That scares the living shit out of me right there. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? Rebar? So we dropped Miss Amy at her mother's house. She's going to call a squad and have them come pick her up. This is south of charge, so you're going to have a lot of cars that we're hearing on fire, tires, possible fuel. So a lot to keep that fire ignited. And we do want to show you also some of that video that was shared by some of you. And this is, um, as she was passing by, this is from Caitlin Shermer. Now she said that she was driving, saw that heavy smoke there, and she tells us that um, that's when she saw the fire. Now we have been in contact with dispatch, and they say that it all started just before 9 o'clock. Again, this happening at a salvage yard. We are hearing reports of multiple cars. Again, you can see just the cars that stacked up that are on fire right there. Uh, tires, car parts, fuel, so all highly flammable objects that could keep this fire going for quite a while. And these pictures just show how intense this fire is. I mean, Smoke them if you got them. Now, 